Coming up in today's show, we take a trip to the headquarters of ISS and speak to Chief Operations Officer Martin Gorn Thompson. Hello and welcome to the first episode of this season of EC Television, the only show for the professional cleaning industry. We're going to start today's show by taking a brief look at what's going on in the world of cleaning. A premium priced toilet roll made from waste milk has been hitting Italian supermarket shelves this winter. Carezza di Latte, which translates as milk caress, is a collaboration between German fabric innovator Q-Milk and Italian tissue company Lucart. Global distribution company Bunzel is to acquire more businesses in Denmark and France. Saab Compagnie, which is based near Copenhagen, is a distributor of cleaning and hygiene-related products in Denmark. ProRisk and GM Equipment specialise in the sale of personal protection equipment and first aid related products. In the UK, extra funds are to be pumped into the National Health Service to help UK hospitals tackle the current superbug crisis. The €53.8 million Euro cash injection will be shared among the nation's hospitals in a bid to reduce infection rates. And finally, a London-based business is expanding its house cleaning service aimed at the nudist community across the UK with Naked Cleaners. The company offers three packages, one where the cleaner is nude, one where the client is undressed and one where both are naked. The company's owner said there's nothing sexual about the business at all. The client is getting a professional clean. We'll be back in a minute with an exclusive look at how ISS is partnering with their clients. See you soon. back to EC Television. With ISS changing how they work with clients, we sent Michelle Marshall to Copenhagen to find out more. The nature of the relationship between the building service provider and their client is changing. This means there's a drive to find new working methods that improve the service experience. We're here in Copenhagen at the headquarters of the world's largest facility service provider, ISS, to talk to Chief Operating Officer Martin Gorn Thompson. I think the most significant development that we have seen in our relationship with our clients has really been our customers more and more focusing on their core business. It's about their purpose and how do we then, as service provider, underpin and help them achieve that purpose. What you are delivering to, for instance, a hospital is no longer a, a good, healthy uh, environment, but is actually helping the hospital healing their patients. Close to 40% of our cleaning solutions we are delivering together with our integrated solutions, so together with the other services. In those integrated solutions, we talk about the user touch points. So where do the users of the building come into contact with our services. It can be when you enter the building and come to the reception. Is the reception uh, friendly and smiling? Is it clean? Is the lightning and the heating and the ventilation okay? But that also means that the way that we as service provider, and more importantly how our employees are trained and how they behave has changed radically. If you just, just take people in from the street or using subcontractors and you don't train your people in understanding what they actually there on this facility to provide, the customer will not see the end product that they have asked for. To find out more how this partnership model works in practice, I've come to talk to Tom Lund, ISS Account Manager for Denmark at Nordea. Nordea is one of the largest financial services groups in the Nordic region. In 2013, we went into a new model, a partnership model, which is then based much more on end-user satisfaction. So we have sat down with Nordea, identified the need of each touch point, you know, setting the service standard. In the, in the old contract, you know, we had a list of, of things, uh, you know, this many square meters needed to be cleaned at 8 o'clock and 12 o'clock and, and so on. It doesn't work like that today. So if there is a need for us to 
decrease cleaning in one area and increase cleaning in another area. You know, that is up to us to decide. Talking about service and service experience has just lifted, uh, you know, the whole general level of our delivery and it sort of it lives every day. It's not just a PowerPoint presentation, it's something that is embedded into everyone working at an audio contract. It's clear that the leading facility services providers are now really understanding the importance of the building user experience. That's why they're investing in building true, meaningful relationships with their clients. Well, that's all we have time for on this episode of EC Television. Please do get in touch and tell us what you thought or what you'd like us to cover in future episodes using the contact details below. We'd love to hear from you. Coming up next time, we take a look at robots in the industry and speak with industry leaders about the future of this technology. See you next time. Goodbye.